What's going on everyone and welcome back to the Fit Kitchen. Now this week it's a really special recipe. It's one of my favourites. This again is something that I see being sold for like 6, 7, 8 euro in shops. It's extremely easy to make. Again this is really suitable if you're a student, stuck for money or if you just want to make a healthier alternative to your diet. So this is my homemade burrito. Is he's gonna sit there or do you wanna get in the video? <laughs> so that ladies and gentlemen is my homemade burrito. You can see how actually easy that is to make. It looks a lot fancier or it looks a lot more um, constructed and difficult than what it actually is. So really use whatever you have or use what's on offer. So you could use anything like a steak or a mince. Uh, chicken works really well. Use any sort of beans, so I use red kidney beans, but you can use chickpeas, uh, baked beans, bachelor's beans, whatever's on offer. And then whatever veg you have, if any veg are going off or if they won't last the next few days, throw them into burritos, perfect. A few tips I have with them. Number one, use two wraps. Now granted the calories are going to be up a little bit more because you're using two wraps. But again, this is more of a healthier alternative to a regular burrito. So that's gonna have a lot less calories, which will be here, than a normal burrito. So if you are watching your calories and you want to go for a lower calorie meal, I would ditch the two wraps and I would use a burrito bowl. So put all of those ingredients and put it on top of a massive bowl of lettuce with some salsa, some uh, light mayonnaise, even some guacamole, I didn't use there because I didn't have it. But if you have some avocados, chop them up, throw them in. They're perfect with it. Number two, don't overfill it. You can see I barely got that close and I didn't use a whole pile there. So um, don't eat with your eyes. Be pretty conservative with your ingredients. Make sure it's wrapped good and tight. And number three, don't cook it after for too long. I put it into the grill for like five minutes. So all you want to do is heat up the wraps and melt the cheese. If you don't wrap it in tin foil and you put it under the grill, the, those wraps harden up and they get really crispy. So it kind of ruins it. So just wrap it up in the tin foil, under the grill or in the oven for three, four, five minutes until it's hot and then serve it. And that's the whole thing made. So it's a really healthier alternative to your usual burritos with some really good benefits like high fiber from the beans, high protein from the meat and the kidney beans also. You're getting your micronutrients from the vegetables and um, it's a well balanced dish with some fats, carbs and protein. So, so give it a go, show me how you get on. And as always, tune in next week for another episode of The Fit Kitchen.